Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Overboard. <coughs> Let's see if we can kill everyone. Uh, ask him to come in. Of course. And one more thing. Caution with something. Uh, let's see, under the bed, grab the key, uh, the body, push him under the bed, push him <gasps> under the bed, hide his foot, <sighs> the dolphin, kick it under the bed, okay. Alright, I don't think I need to, uh... Let's see. Alright, let's go ahead and get moving. I don't think I need to get anything else from the uh, cabin right now. Let's go onto the upper deck. There we go, car stairs is up there. Oh, shoot. No, no, this is wrong. All right, sorry. Uh, cuz uh reset to 8 a.m. Um, I need Anders to be there. Okay, but we can do this again. Get the body under the bed, hide his feet. Kick it under the bed. Alright, so let's see. I need it to be. I need to get up there at like 9. So let's go ahead and wash my hands, fix my face, pocket the other one, the tablets, pocket them, and I'll leave. Alright. Nine oh two. Let's go up to the bridge and see if that will work. <gasps> Ahoy there. Excuse me, Mrs. Villainsy, but it's my shift at the helm. Of course. I'll just slide past you. Commander Anders squeezes behind me to reach the door, then goes inside. He hangs his passkey, tagged with red ribbon, on a little hook. Let's see, is the ship really sinking? Can I make a thousand pounds? Can I kill Lady H and get away with it? Uh, let's go ahead and go back down. Okay, so Anders is on ship now, so that's good. Ah, Mrs. Villainsy. Damn fine day, what? Good ma morning, Mr. Carstairs. Are you looking are you up here looking for your diamond by any chance? I found it lying here on the on deck like a belly fish. Lucky thing I did too. Might have flolloped back into the sea. Look. I'm afraid I only found the one though. Malcolm would be furious if he knew. All right. You're so right. Wait, look, dolphins. Dolphins, you say? Doesn't seem likely, my dear. What is too cold here for dolphins? But there's something down there. I check quickly. We're all alone up here. Definitely there in the water. Lean over, look. Really? I can't see anything. Just lean a little further. Honestly, I'm leaning as far as I barely well can. Push him overboard. Have a closer look, Mr. Carstairs. <laughs> he tumbles over the rail. Elsa! And then he's gone. Elsa? 
Okay, so he is uh, taken care of. Alright, let's see. So, uh, Malcolm Stewart and Carstairs. Go ahead and go below. I see Commander Anders uh, at the wheel looking back at me. Okay, good. This should work. Alright. Let's go to Clarissa's door and knock on Clarissa's door. You're going to want to talk to me. Are you threatening me, you witch? I never want to see you again. I know what you did to him. I know. Are you talking about Malcolm? You never loved him, not like I did. We can't talk like this. Open the damn door. I'd rather stick a knife in my heart than talk to you. You killed him, Veronica. You killed him. Let's talk on deck. Not here, not like this. I'll wait for you there. I don't want to talk to you. Please, Car Clarissa. She collapses in the floods of uh, tears again, enough to spoil her bedsheets. How can she know? How much did she see? Uh, let's step away. Let's go ahead and leave. She should come up. Yep, there she is. Thank you for coming, Clarissa. What do you want? You saw Clarissa, you saw something. What is it you saw? I saw him fall, Veronica, last night. It was horrible. I was in my bunk just writing something. And I looked up, and he shot past the porthole in front of me. You sure it was him? I wasn't sure until I saw your face this morning. Is that your porthole down there? Was this where he was standing? Maybe, I'm not sure. She leans out to see. Lady H is nearby, pretending not to be paying attention. You can join him, Clarissa. I grab her by the waist. What are you doing? She's as thin as a child. No, wait! I pushed that silly girl overboard. Yeah, there's uh, Malcolm, Clarissa, Stuart, Carstairs. Four glorious murders. Glub, glub, gurgle. Gurgle. Last sound she uh, makes is a little mewling like a kitten. Wipe my hands. There, now to get the smell of you off me. Well now, dear, I honestly didn't think you had that in you. Have what? I saw perfectly well. I glance up towards the bridge. I think I can see Andrews at the wheel. Well, can you show me where she went over? I can't see anything. Down there. She steps closer to the rail, triumphantly. And push her over. I lunge before she's expecting it. Achievement unlocked. Quintuple homicide. <laughs> I pushed Lady Armstrong overboard. Well, she wasn't terribly Armstrong, was she? All right, let's go ahead and go below. And the major. Um, okay. So we, we want to get him here at 12.30. Um... Maybe if I go over to the chapel, because you can pass time in the chapel. Hear me, Father, yada yada. Hmm? You're in danger of becoming a regular jailbird, aren't you? I know I've not always been pious. Not always been... And I have not always been a small antelope called Millicent. Just get to the point, lady. Do you hate me? No, I love you. It's like chewing on nettles, but there it is. Now what do you want? 
Will I go to hell? Not much question of that, is there? Go take a hike, I'm tired of you. The alms bowl? The alms bowl by the door is intended for donations. The money goes to an orphanage for children of lost sailors. It's empty. Get your nose out of there! I hurry out of the chapel. Alright. So I need it to be at 1234 uh, Anders to get back there. So let's go ahead and stay here. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, uh, something, something heaven. Risible, you're embarrassing yourself. What do you want? Do you exist? Shall I spank you to prove it? Now take a hike. I mean, some ladies like that. 1150. Uh, let's go ahead and pray. Listen up, God. What? Are you sure you're God? Not the other guy. You should see the other guy. Well, you will, I suppose. Now get out of my sight. Okay, after spending a little bit of time here, I should be able to, uh... Hello again, God. What? Which God are you? Just stop and think about that question for a moment. Now as confessions go, this is rubbish. Shift it. Alright, there we go. Anders is up on uh, deck again. Good day, Miss Mrs. Villain. Good day to you, Mrs. Villainsy. Been stuck aboard this tug for a week, but I don't believe we've had the pleasure. The name Subadar Major Sobjit Singh of the 14th Sikhs. Alright, so... We're tired, obviously. At your service. Good to know. So we want to not mention our husband. Feel we're outmoded something from history? Hardly. I think we all know there's a war coming. That's why you're leaving Europe, is it? Yes. Very wise, ma'am. Cowards should run. Uh, make conversation. How long were you in the army? Still I am in the army, madame. It's a life's work. Old soldiers only fade away, if you recall. I never knew what that meant. Things that happen to you change you. You can't change back. And soldiers are fashioned to last like swords. You think there'll be another war? Yes, my dear, I'm very certain that, very much certain there will be. You sure? There are simply uh, too many people now who uh, do not understand the value of a human life. They never took one, so uh, they don't know. But the fact is, a life's a life. Your skin, your creed, none of that matters a stitch. And if you don't understand that, you can't be more than half a man. Or woman, you understand. War seems so terrible to me. War is a fever. It can be devastating, unbearable, it can drive us quite mad. But it exists to drive out the disease. A fever may kill you or cure you, it's true. But if you ever if you have a fever, you are already in danger. Enough talking. Very good then. Yes, ma'am. Major looks up. A question, Mrs. Villainsy. Have you seen my good friend Mr. Carstairs? I'm accustomed to his company here, but I have not seen him since dawn. He was walking on deck. He was walking on deck, I think. He does enjoy a turn, that's true. Perhaps he's still there. Uh, let's see. You should go and look. Indeed, perhaps I shall. The Major stands, nods to me, and leaves the room. I told the Major that Carstairs was up on deck. Let's go ahead and follow. I don't need to uh, do anything with the... Uh, with the thingy. The Major is here, leaning over the rail. Let's creep up behind him. I pace up behind him. The hilt of his dagger sticks out of his belt invitingly. A 
slip out his knife. I quietly lift the blade from his belt. It's beautifully weighted, finely made, with a gentle curve. Shaped almost like a dolphin. Caution with the hilt, or do I want to stab him in the back? I want to stab him in the back. I ready the knife, then drive it towards his back, forwards into his back. He lurches out over the rail, hands scrabbling. The blade is the only thing keeping him on the boat. Pull out the blade. I pull the blade free, and the major drops. There. But the splash doesn't come. With one hand, he's caught a hold of a lower rail. Help me, Mrs. Villainsy, quickly! Let's lift his fingers. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed at home. Mrs. Villainsy, what are you doing? Lift his fingers. This little piggy had roast beef. This little piggy had none. Please! What is all this uh, nonsense about? By all that sacred Mrs. Villainsy, help me up! Let's lift his fingers. And this little piggy ah! went... Hex tuple homicide! I pushed the Major overboard. Overboard. The knife topples from my fingers uh, to the deck. Anders comes skimming down the ladder from the bridge. Veronica. All right. I saw what you did. Malcolm, I can understand, but the Major... I think you need to come with me. I had to do it, Commander. Can't you understand that? I had to. I do understand. You were trapped. You had no choice. I've been there. But I can't just let you walk away. Not from this. He's careful to stand away from the rail. I know you don't love me. Come away from the rail and we'll talk. It'll be alright. You'll see. Look, Andrew's Dolphins. I don't think that's gonna work. Stay back. Don't do anything hasty, Veronica. Let's pick up the knife. I pick up the Major's knife. For some reason, Anders puts his hands up. Uh, Veronica? What are you going to do with that? I just want us to be together. We'll talk about that. Just put it down. I take a step closer. And stab Anders. I jab forward with the dolphin-shaped knife. I'm no expert, but I can hardly miss. Achievement unlocked. Septuple homicide. Anders suddenly jerks bolt upright, his arms slammed against his sides. And then he curves over a little. Uh, is Anders a dolphin too? Anders, what's the matter? Something's happening to him. Before my eyes, his skin is turning gray. His long, thin body is stretching and smoothing. I must be going mad. I'm going mad. I hate dolphins. <laughs> he pivots on his heels, ramming into me. I tumble towards the rail. I try to catch myself, but my arms won't seem to move. This can't be happening. Yeah, I said that once, too. It was the exact same thing. It was, uh, it was a weird coincidence. He's behind me, his weight pushing me forward. We plunge together down into the seething water below the ship and start to swim. On the bridge of the SS Hook, July 4th. There's something in the water. Croak! I don't believe it. Dolphins? Out here? Wonderful! Dolphins at Liberty Island. Tourists gathered on Liberty Island's shore after a school of dolphins were sighted just off the coast by eagle-eyed spotters. Dolphins travel in family groups and show particular care for their young. In other news, SS Hook arrived in harbor with several passengers believed to be missing. Police are continuing to investigate, but so far have no leads. Pictured, a family of bottlenose dolphins plays in the waters of Upper New York Bay. I got freedom! <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Uh, hold on a second. Ah, uh, yeah, that's about a good amount of time. Let's uh, go ahead and hit resume. 
All right, so we got a uh, septuple homicide. There's a few others that we can try and get. Um, I want to try and uh, get the money, so that's still one of the things listed. Let's go ahead and restart. Let's see what we get. Veronica Villainzi quits the stage. Veronica Villainzi has announced she is leaving theater forever after a humiliation on stage at the Dolphin Theater, London. The beloved actress broke down in tears during the opening night performance of Pygmalion. The theater is decorated with several dolphin motif carvings, which Mrs. Villainzi was s said to have believed were looking at her. Does this embarrassment really mean the end for the Villainzi's rise to stardom? Delphinophobia, the fear of dolphins, is rare but can be very acute in sufferers. We stood together at the rail, Malcolm and I. Dolphins. I told him I could see I hate dolphins. dolphins. I've always hated dolphins. Wake of the boat. He leant over to see them. Malcolm probably didn't know what a dolphin even was. Dolphins, Malcolm, dolphins! So I grabbed him by the belt. Ignorance is no defense. Time for some swimming. And I threw him overboard. Ah! Is the ship really sinking? And can I make a thousand pounds? <laughs> <coughs> And the steward is back. All right, so when we come back next time, we will see what other achievements we can go for. See you next time, everyone.